What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a commentary on liars and people being two-faced. And um, again, like most of my videos, this video isn't directed at anybody. It's just a general topic that I've heard, like, I've seen a lot of and I've, I'll admit I've done a lot of it too, so. Um, yeah, and uh, you guys might hear some background noise, there's some construction going on, but this is the only time I have today to make this video for you guys for tomorrow, but when you guys are seeing this, you, you know. Um, but anyway, this is a Yemen gameplay, I go 33 and 12, I get that nice three piece right there. Um, I go 33 and 12, so not my best gameplay, just something I had stored up, because I'm saving some of my best gameplays for the end of um, the, uh, and, uh, the next couple weeks, I mean, I have a lot of gameplays to come, so... Let's get into the, today's topic, and, um, so, I've been, I don't think, I don't consider myself one, but I'll admit, I do lie a lot, but a lot of people say I'm a compulsive liar, which I'm not. Um, I don't know the definition exactly of a compulsive liar, and, but I just know, I mean, no one's going to consider themselves a compulsive liar, I guess, um. But I'm also trying to change the fact that I lie a lot. I'm trying to, like, instill more trust between me and my friends, if you guys know what I mean. Like, um, it's also at the point where, like, some of my friends, like, Twist and a couple other people are starting to not know what's true and what's fake or what's true and what's made up. And, um, so I'm, I'm trying to change that because it's annoying that it's like that. And, um, they can tell when I'm not being dramatic and when I'm telling the truth most of the time but still it's getting to the point where some of my stuff is getting very realistic and um, like I said I've been trying to change that um, I've been doing pretty good with it um, can't I can't really think of the last time I told a lie really um, and that's just that's just me trying to be a better friend I guess and but I there's so many kids from my school who I thought were friends who were two faced who go behind their backs and that's why I'm so paranoid because I know that I only have a few good friends a few true friends like I may not talk to other people outside of school but I at least like can trust them that if I do need to talk to them they'll be willing to talk to me and there's only a couple kids like that like Luke um Phil, or you guys know him as Shadows, Twist, or you guys know him as Nate, he doesn't go to my school though, um, but there's only a couple people from school that I can actually, like, really trust with information that I can trust won't get out there, because I, I know, like, say I told this kid Pat, not, not, not Spartan, a different Pat, there's a different Pat that I'm talking about, um, if I told this kid Pat something, then he would go out and tell so many people, all of his friends, like Matt, uh, Dylan, all those people, like, like, I mean, there's more, I just don't feel like listing them all, but, and I know that, like, I, I used to think Pat was a friend, and now I realize he's not, um, and again, like I said, that's not Spartan that I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody else. If anybody deserves to be considered a true friend, Spartan does, because he's always there to talk to. He's always somebody who you can vent to. Even though he may not listen to you, he's going to allow you to vent to him. And, um, like, he'll he'll try to give you advice if you do need it. And that, that makes a good friend. And Twist, Shadows, they're like that. The kid Luke I mentioned earlier, he's like that. Um... A couple other people I know are like that, and there's only a handful of people that are like that, and I have to, for me to tell somebody something, I have to really know I can trust them at this point, because now I'm starting to get to the point where I've seen so many people turn against me that I'm starting not to be able to trust people as easily, and, um, like, I used to just trust somebody after knowing them for, like, a month or two. Now it's taking me, like, I have to, the person has to prove to me, earn, has to earn my trust, and I guess this is more about getting my trust than anything. It's not really about liars and being two-faced, but it kind of is, like, you're being two-faced if you go over, if, like, for example, I'm saying, like, if I tell you something I don't want out there, like, for example, I may not, 
I, I, I don't talk about my YouTube channel a lot because I don't really know how kids will react to it, especially since I'm a smaller channel. I'm a very, or a very small channel. And, um, so I don't know how kids will react to it, so I just kind of, my group of, my, like, lunch table and a few other people know about it, and that's really it for the kids at my school, and most of my Xbox friends know that. Um, and I kind of just try to keep it a secret, and, like, if, if, say, I told somebody about it and I said don't tell anybody and they went and told people, well, that's kind of being two-faced, um, and I've been two-faced, and I'm not saying I haven't been, I'm not denying it. I'm gonna, I'm telling you the truth, I've been two-faced, um, I've talked behind Nate's back, I've talked behind Gino's back, and both times were for no re- both of them for were for no reason, I didn't do it for any specific reason, I just felt like doing it, and I, I admit that I was wrong, but I'm at least coming out and admitting that I did it, and one thing that I am good for is that if I'm called out on something, I will not deny it. I stand by my word. I stand by whatever I say. And um, I just will not, no matter what, say I said something about Nate and it really caught, pisses him off. I'm just going to say, yeah, I said it. So, because I mean, that, that makes for better situations. So, anyway, guys, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, it'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.